All right, let's just do playoffs real quick. Um, That'll be real quick. It rules. I am obsessed with like every series, even Carolina Islanders. Because that one's uh, the best one. What do you mean even? Well, no, but heading in, heading in, everyone's like, "This is gonna be fucking sure, sure. like brutal." What's, and what is the worst series besides you can't you cannot say Rangers Capitals? I can't. No. <laughs> I mean, that's. I don't know why I can't because that's like by, it's not close. Like I think. And like, I don't even think there is a worst one. No, I'm for you subjectively. Which one are you least interested in besides that one? I'm not really. I don't have one. Like that. That is the only answer. Like I don't really give a fuck about that one. So uh, there you go. I can't. I can't give you a fucking actual answer on any of the other ones. All right, my my answer, and it weird, but. I'm not convinced. There it is. Leafs one nothing. Series over. Yeah, Bruins think it's over. But Maddie and I scored, so we're not mad. It's over. That fucking it beauty. Oh wait, where where did he grow up playing hockey? Hmm. Don't know. Uh, I believe uh, Salt Lake City. Couldn't tell you. What if what if that went in the trade too? All the like rights that went over to Smith. It's also, oh, any uh, product of Arizona that's now in the NHL, you get to say they actually came out of Utah. Yeah, Matthews, yeah. Nyes, it's great, yeah. Yeah, though, no, they get they get ownership of that now. Oh, by the way, um, how does this affect the Leafs? Arizona moving is huge for them that Matthews is not a flight risk anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. Um, but for Although, me, they'll be up right when his contract's up. They'll be back right when his contract's up, though. <laughs> no, he'll have to do another like two year bridge. Because again, they're not going to be back until Morello's out of the picture. That's at least yeah. five years. Right. But for me, it's Edmonton, LA, because I don't think that's going to be a series. It's going to be five games tops. I think yeah. that LA is such an underperforming team. They've got good players on their roster, and like with their forward depth, they should be good. I don't like their blue line. Their goaltending is not good. And they do not have the horses to keep up with Edmonton. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. The only reason that I didn't, so the I like, couldn't pick them was just because I love, I'm loving watching the dry sidle McDavid high. Like they are. I'm in dude. It's the rich kid, the fucking know, spoiled dude. rich, spoiled rich kid just goes off at game one. They are that, by the way, that, Goal from Drysidle was so nasty. His like that is his spot. Like he's basically his ass is on the fucking goal line, and just the snapshot. Like poor fucking tap, dude. Oh my god. Soon to be displaced by Phil Gustafson. That's right. Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean that will that one's gonna be a shit kicking. Like I mean, it I, game one. Yeah. Clearly, um, it is bad. Like that was terrifying. What McDavid did, like well, I don't know what fucking two minutes into the game, if that, maybe I don't even know. It was like okay, so that's how this is gonna go for LA. Okay, well that's curtains then. Um, they are when they get going, they are one of the scariest teams in the league. I mean, they were. I think they had one of the best records or if not by far the best records after the coaching change, like they just didn't lose. Like it was, and it's great. Cause like, they don't even really have to play much defense and they still did. It's like, they're and, just and like, they're with four apples. no big deal. Oh God. Yeah. He rules. He looks like he's fucking 45 he's, and he's 20 something. He's, like, he's, he's like Alan guy. Addison would be if he was like two feet taller. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, um, oh man. By the way, people are saying that Dean Evison should be the coach for San Jose. That would pretty much ruin my life. Yeah, that would hurt. We wouldn't like that. Poor Kalen Addison. It's not even fair. Um, Kalen, fucking get me out of here. How? Uh, in break it down to minutes, unless hours is more appropriate. How much time did you spend crying about Mark Stone scoring a goal? 
I loved every goddamn second of that. That's awesome, dude. I love it. <laughs> I, I think uh, the Stars beat writer for The Athletic tweeted out, he's like third in ice. He's like third most ice time. I'm like, it's been one game, but all right. Um, but it is. He just immediately scores. Plays phenomenal. Plays like 22 minutes. Magically is just fixed. He's better. He's not even hurt at all. Like, he doesn't even feel pain. Of co- it was only going to be him scoring the first goal very early in that fucking series, and he was outrageous. That being said, what a play from the stank, Logan Stanko, but I think he actually did stick lift Mark Stone himself to get that assist to, uh, I think it was the second goal for Dallas, maybe. Um, Dude. So he already lifts. He's doing his thing, too. But it is amazing. People just shitting themselves over the Mark Stone thing. I'm like, at this uh, point, if you don't really have much of a vested interest in either one of these teams. Like, you should just embrace how funny it is. I'm almost a Vegas fan because of it. Like, I, I yeah. love that chaos. Also, dude, I'm literally like, humble brag, uh, I'm at the gym for uh, that first game, and I'm just watching it on my phone because I was literally, you know, when you have a kid, you don't really have time for anything. And... Buchagras, as he goes to the sidewall, it's uh, sorry, as uh, William Carlson goes to the sidewall with uh, Miro Haskinen, says, Look at that. William Carlson and uh, Miro Haskinen battling it out, two of the best at their respective positions. And I about like dropped my weights on top of my head. Like, what? What? I love William Carlson. Guy's awesome, but what? Like maybe, maybe if three C counts as a position, sure, I'll I'll allow that then. But psychotic to look at William Carlson at, as one of the best at his position. That what? Yeah, we we put that in the uh, the take quake category for sure. Um, but you know what? Again, outrageous, but couldn't really be less shocked. He- he OD'd on Parm that night. Not his yeah, fault. No, too many, too many Bad parms. sauce. Bad sauce. Um, yeah. the the one question I have that's got me really worried because, granted, I said that the series would be in seven, so it's not like I leaned that heavily. But I've been pretty firm for the last like two or three months that no matter who they faced in the opening round in this middle grouping from the central, I'm pretty firm that like Winnipeg is the better team. Is Hellebuck broken? Is he okay? It because that's two games in a row where like he isn't playing bad, but he's not the the heart contender that he was all season. Right, and I I did think game two when they killed that penalty, he made the big well there was a big shot block. He also right before that made a ridiculous save. They go down and Shifley goes shelf. I was like, uh oh. Yeah. Okay. This is when they're going to fucking absolutely step on them again. And they just didn't. But that is also just like how absurd Colorado is. Even if they stretch this out, I, and like, like you said, I, I think I ended up picking Winnipeg in six because I do think that, like, at this point, even, if you want to take the goaltenders out of it, I love Winnipeg's lineup up and down. Like depth, dude. Ooh. Yeah, I love it. And Colorado, they addressed a bunch of areas that I was like, yeah, that makes sense. That fills in. I like, I like their additions. But the fact that they made all those deadline moves and didn't consider, well, I'm sure they did consider it, but they just didn't address the goaltending thing. I mean, that's a problem, like a big problem. And they're going to have to, if they want to stretch this series out, take the physicality of the playoffs out of it. They have to expend so much fucking energy into basically just playing McKinnon and McCarr hockey up and down the lineup for 60 minutes to not lose and it's crazy because like they basically didn't have a goaltender in the net in game one got the shit kicked out of them and still 
made it a one goal game at the end. Like they Ooh. still did it. Was that um, was that Eric? Was that Fred or was that Trent? All of the above, baby. Um, but God, I regardless of the score of that series in games, I need them just to play seven times. I yeah love every every so fucking shift is awesome. And I tweeted this out at the time. I truly believe that Ross Colton must be forced to retire from the National Hockey League <laughs> for what of it wasn't Kyle Connor, it wasn't Shifley, it wasn't Velarde, it wasn't Ehlers, it wasn't even you want to go defenseman, it wasn't like Morrissey. That was Vlad Nemesnikov, who's played on 57 hockey teams in the last three fucking years. One spin move at the Winnipeg Blue Line. I have never seen a hockey player get sent into another fucking dimension. His legs, like, wrapped around themselves. for Like, he was the Alaska man. He fucking went flying, and that building gave it to him so bad. As they it should. Was, it was... That, it was reminiscent of fuck. <laughs> it was reminiscent of Klingberg without falling over. Oh my god, it was so bad, and it was Vlad Nemesnikov. Yeah, that that hurts. His hockey—he's played for half the league. He is like twenty-seven years old. That was the slowest spin move ever. It was sick. Looked good because he went flying. He literally was in yeah. orbit. Like it looked like he stepped on a landmine, you know. Like he fucking like. <laughs> there, at that point, it. there's a video at it. Just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at, dude. At that point, I'm like knocking my own skate blade off. Like I lost. I, fuck out. Ah, look what happened. Like this is. Uh, it, it, it wasn't that. It was the fact my skate blade went flying off, and I. It, it was crazy how that just happened because it wasn't that guy doing that. I didn't get fucking juked yeah. out of. I didn't get juked out of Winnipeg by Vlad Mestikov at the Winnipeg Blue Line. I did, that didn't happen. It did not happen. That was outrageous. But give, anyways, give me seven fucking games that series. Agreed. It rules. No, it it's, rules. it's awesome. And I, I do think that if Winnipeg advances, I think that they've got every chance in the world to represent the West in the Cup. Then I, I really want... Like, I need a series of them versus Dallas. That's going to be a... F- Fucking or them versus game. Vegas. It'll be oh yeah, yeah, no, I just love I love so many and like I guess this is a tough like show or like demographic of a show to uh say this about. I love so many of those fucking guys on Dallas. They're so fun. The dude. fact I think they had seven guys with over 20 goals this year. Their like, third line, their third line is Stankoven, Johnston, and Ben. What oh, yeah. It's comical. They rule that t- up and down. That fucking lineup is incredible. Are, so, aren't there two highest paid players still, Sagan and Ben, and they're still doing this? Uh, Heiskanen's making what now? Oh no, he makes less than Sagan. He makes less than Sagan. Yeah, Sagan. Sagan makes like nine, eight, seven, five, or something. Yeah, and isn't Ben like nine? Uh, he's nine. That, yeah, that's dude. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> on uh, Winnipeg. Have we just decided, is it like fully locked in and confirmed that Blake Wheeler and Pierre-Luc Dubois are the only jellyfish that were being referred to in that post-series presser? Brutal. They are Brutal. the jellyfish. <laughs> and, James, and gotta change his name there. Wheeler not playing and Dubois fourth line center. <laughs> um, it's, it's so bad. I don't know how it's that... Awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. But it is what it is. Um, let me see. Can, but real quick though, game two, fucking Islanders, Carolina. Like we keep hitting it, <laughs> dude. It was three nothing in the third period. And the one, the one thing I do want to say, actually, shout out Kyle McLean. Just game one scores for them. Scores their first playoff. That's his first playoff goal, obviously. Uh, game two gets in that fight with Nason, like. Any kid that's just like finding a way to just stay in the lineup, he had a, he had a pretty decent year. Like once he made his way as a full time NHL, 
he's fun, man. And like, he's got fucking balls. And it was a, we had a, our first fight of the playoffs. We love that. We want more of that going on. That place was rocking, but my God, I think, so they ended up being what five, three at the end after they gave up three goals at like two seconds. The fact that, that goals, the fact Nelson. that goals, oh, Brock Nelson goes after uh, Gensel after that empty netter for, I don't know what, like gently scoring into the empty net. I don't know. No, I don't think Gensel did anything wrong. I think Nelson is just like seeing red because of what just happened. Yeah. Like, the entire game. Like that wasn't a reaction to Gensel. He just happened to bear the brunt of it in because totality. he was celebrating in front of him. He's like, how fucking dare you celebrate on my grave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, Not hey, great. Pepperidge Farm, Pepperidge Farms remembers the head pat, Brock, and you paid for that one too. Dougie <laughs> Hamilton gave it to you in the fucking handshake line. Um, and so, I mean, it's just going to happen every time you go there now. But my God, the crazy thing was like the fact that they were winning three nothing. Obviously, they blow that lead five fucking third period goals. The shot attempts were like what a hundred and fifteen to twenty. <laughs> like it was comical. <laughs> Like, it was funny seeing the shot counter next to the score because it's like Carolina shots on goal, like 46. Islanders, 12. <laughs> they had three goals and they still fucking blew it. It's unbelievable. But yeah, they are getting, I mean, it's brutal. And those poor fucking fans. Oh, imagine watching that shit. Um, oh, I, I don't mean, particularly like, I don't enjoy the like, Carolina like, Hurricanes oh, hockey. It was in Carolina, though. Thank God. Oh, yeah. If that happened in New York. You're folding the team. Yeah. Yeah. I really don't love watching the Hurricanes. Like, they're just so – it is – like, the fun thing is the chaos, it's but boring. they're so, like, volume-based. And I still believe that's why, like, by the time they get to the Eastern Conference Final, they must be fucking dead. You know what's funny, though, man? Like, they're basically who the Islanders want to be. Like if the Islanders got the scoring that they wanted, like they're they're basically playing the same boring type of game. It's just they actually score goals. Right. Weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think I saw for Game Three they're going. Uh, My boy. What's his face. What's his face? Ilya is his face. Yeah, his face, Ilya uh, Sorokin. So we'll see. Um, I mean, they're fucked. Like, they're so fucked. And it was crazy, too. Like, game one, they pretty much did what they needed to do, and they still fucking lost. And then game two, they have a 3 0 lead in the third period, despite getting the ever living dog shit kicked out of them, and they still fucking lose. I mean, it, the, I mean, goals three and four being what 12 seconds apart is legitimately like. <laughs> It's fucking unbelievable. Kicks directly in the dick. They, oh God. But I mean, Carolina, they're they're just a weird, I, again, I just can't, I struggle to, like, whatever people say, like, ah, this is their year, whatever, I still, I can't see that style of just raw chaos working. The path is there, though. Like, they have a pretty reasonable path. Like, in yeah. the West, everyone's going to beat the crap out of each other. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's I don't know. It hard to say. I also think that like once Gensel's feeling it, because he doesn't look like he's feeling it yet. Once we get like actual playoff Gensel, like dude can't fucking be stopped. I mean, it might be on the island. He loves that shit. <laughs> he loves that shit, dude. Um yeah. And listen, I mean, we can't, you can't, I guess, realistically, I, I did just say that they are fucked. Realistically, you can't say it till the home team loses. Well, no, right. so we'll, and it, and that place is going to be a fucking madhouse. It that is. barn and is going to be insane. Patty Watt just has to go in there and tell them, like, you literally had both of these games and chose to lose them. You can easily come here at home and win both of these games, and it's an even series. Like, they can play with Carolina. You just can't have the lapses. And yeah. it'll be interesting to see what happens with Shirokin because he is the better goalie, but Varlamov has definitely been better down the stretch. It'll, I mean, this could be the turning point. Either they're going to get buried and it's just done, or Shirokin's going to stand on his head and all of a sudden we got a series. 
And here in in uh, well, I say here, I'm not here. Uh, Minnesota, we know uh, ga- probably after game two is the right time to uh, to make the change. Like, don't wait till five or six. Um, that might be the uh, <laughs> that might be the <laughs> that's a good time to make that change and net see what that looks like. Um, good luck. Yeah, fucking seriously. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't really know how much it, more playoff fast. hockey more do. It, it, I fucking love this shit, dude. Every night, and again, it's this season in particular has been so good, and the playoffs are just producing again. It, it felt I love like it. The it's hardest so year in like the last decade to actually make picks. Like almost oh, every every, every series, I'm like, wait, what if? Even the ones where you're like. I mean, I know in theory this shouldn't be this hard of a decision, but Rangers were the only one that took zero thought for me. Yeah, yeah, I've oh, and that hurts yeah. me to say because I still think they're fraudulent, but the Capitals are even more fraudulent. So, mm-hmm. yep, yep. 